Cypress How To, DZ Offset. You must set the DZ offset whenever the airfield and the drop zone where you intend to land are at different elevations. Examples of a scenario such as this may include demonstration jumps, a special event, or boogie, or military application. Cypress allows for adjustments of up to plus or minus 3,000 feet, or about 1,000 meters. If an adjustment has been made, either meters or feet is shown on the display. Switch on Cypress only at the takeoff site on the ground. In order to make the drop zone offset adjustment, simply leave your finger pressed firmly on the button when you press it for the fourth time during switch on. Cypress will continue with its self test and once it has finished, it will display 30 feet with an arrow pointing up. If you are going to jump to an elevation which is 30 feet higher than your takeoff, then release the button. If you keep it pressed, then Cypress displays 30 feet with an arrow pointing down. If you are going to jump to a 30 feet lower elevation, then release the button. If you keep the button pressed, then Cypress displays 60 feet with an arrow pointing up. If you are going to jump to a 60 feet higher elevation, then release the button. The trend of arrow up, down, and 30 feet increments carries on until 3,000 feet. The drop zone offset that you select will remain indicated on the display, and Cypress will adjust automatically for this change during the next jump only. Even the shortest release of the button during the self-test cycle causes an interruption in the process and the AED will ignore further attempts to change the drop zone offset. In such cases, the unit will run through its self-test and end with zero arrow down on the display, ready for operation without adjustment. Simply repeat the procedure as necessary. If you need to make changes, you have to start over again by switching off, then back on. Once you have made a drop zone offset adjustment, it will be displayed until the jump has been made or until Cypress switches itself off or is switched off by you. On landing, Cypress will accept the new ground level as its actual ground zero reference when the preset altitude has been hit precisely or if the landing elevation is lower than the one set. This action can be observed by noticing that immediately after the landing, the preset drop zone offset is automatically replaced by zero arrow down. It would then be possible to take off from and land at this location again under canopy without doing any further adjustment. But if you take off at this location and jump into a drop zone with a different elevation, you have to do another drop zone offset adjustment. If the landing elevation is higher than set, the unit will not change to zero display right away. In such a case, Cypress must be recalibrated to the correct ground zero by switching it off and on again prior to the next jump. Do this on the airfield where the aircraft will take off. In case you want the same drop zone setting that you have used on your last jump to another elevation, Cypress 2 automatically offers you this value immediately after the end of the self-test and before it starts to offer the regular steps. You can choose the setting again by just releasing the button while you see its value on the display.